What's up guys? Now, this video is about WinRAR. I know I made a few videos where I had you extract a RAR to get to your files and install stuff. And I neglected that, I just assumed that everybody knew how to use and extract RARs. So today I'm going to make a video on how to get WinRAR that will let you extract RARs. And I'll tell you a little bit about it. So here, get it from CNET, 64-bit or 32-bit, I'll have both links in the description. Okay, here, I had to squeeze this in, in between with that because I forgot to tell you on how to find out which architecture you have, 64-bit or 32-bit. Basically, for Windows 7 and Vista, all you have to do is go to your Start button right here, go to Computer, right-click, and go down to Properties. Shows you this little window and write down over your system type 64 bit operating system. Or you might have 32 bit operating system. Now, for Windows XP, most likely you can have 32 bit operating system. And if you do have 64 bit operating system, well, that's pretty rare. And if you do, you probably know what you're doing already. Okay. For me, I'm going to get 64 bit. Click the download now. And. Now it starts. Save it. Run the exe. Click install. And now uh, this is all the list of files that WinRAR can open right over here. From RARs to zips to CAVs to ISOs. Now select all or just hit OK. And now WinRAR has been installed. Hit done. And basically, this is the way it works. We have RAR files like these, like um, the anime desktop mascots. This is a RAR file, dot R A R. You double click it and it opens up in WinRAR. Win -RAR. And this is a folder that's been archived in WinRAR. So when you click on the folder, it opens up the contents in the folder. Basically, what happens here is if I drag this folder out, it's not actually moved out, but it's a copy of it is extracted to my desktop. When it's extracted, the file gets bigger. Like right now, the file is 160 megabytes. But as a RAR, it was 78 megabytes. So you use WinRAR to compress your files to a smaller size. Now, unfortunately, some files can't be compressed, like JPEGs or MP3s. They're already as small as they could get. Now, to make a folder into a RAR is very easy. What you have to do is you right click on the folder and you'll get all these options and you have the option that says add to archive. Click that one and select as RAR. Now RARs can only be opened by WinRAR or 7-Zip or other third party programs. But ZIPs can be opened in Windows Explorer by Windows. So if you want to uh, you want to make a compressive file for someone who doesn't have WinRAR or 7-Zip you make it into a zip. Now you choose a compression method. Now for best, it makes it very small, but it takes longer to make it. For store, it just makes it, but it's a lot bigger. So you can just leave it at normal, and if you don't select the location, it makes the RAR where you the, where the original folder was. So you hit OK, and it goes at compressing it. Estimated time. Let's fast forward this. Okay, now it's done, and the uh, RAR file is right here. You can see it's again compressed back into the same RAR that you started with. Now, this doesn't only need to be done with folders. You could do these, uh, this with, let's say, what do I have here? Well, okay, this video file here. This is a file by Camtasia. So right click it, and archive, choose your format, and now there's a second option over here. Here's where you choose to split the RAR into multiple pieces, parts, and all you got to do is type in the size you want. Like I want it at, let's say, four megabyte pieces. So I would type in four zero zero zero. That's four thousand kilobytes KB, and hit OK. And this would make it into part one. Part 2, Part 3, Part 4, Part 5, 
part six, part seven. Now you're wondering why in the world would I want to make multiple parts of the same rock? Uh, the reason you would want to do this is because it's easier to move around. Like, let's say your RAR, after it's compressed, is 2 gigabytes. You have a flash drive that's only 1 gigabyte, and you want to move the file, but you can't move it on the 1 gigabyte flash drive. So what you would do is you would make multiple parts of the RAR. Now, I ended up with 19 parts. Now, all the parts are, are the same RAR. So if I click on part 10, and I look inside, it's the same file inside, and it's the same size. If I extract this file, it'll take a few seconds, and it'll come out. That's all that there's one already here. Uh, you just don't move. Okay, but if I do it like this, if I take away one of the parts, let's say I put it in another directory, like in here, and I try to extract the RAR, and I move it out, it starts to extract, but it says part 2 is missing. So all you have to do is browse for part 2, and let's see, put it in here. Now, to make this simpler, you would leave all the parts in the same directory. Or else this happens, and it asks you for the next part. And next part and next part. So just simplify stuff. You leave it all in the same directory. Or else you have to move back and forth between directories. I right. put it back here. Those are our parts. Now each one of these parts is about four megabytes. I didn't calculate it right, but three point nine megabytes. Yay. Okay. Okay, I have one more tip for you. Now, when you're compressing a folder into a RAR or any file into a RAR, you usually get this. Let's say you hit OK to compress now. And over here, it shows you the percentage it's compressing at. 44%. The lower, the better. So if you see something at 90%, it's practically pointless to compress it because it's just going to be as big as you started with. So I'm going to cancel this and show you... Actually, yeah. Let me see if I can find another RAR. One second. Okay, same RAR. Now, there's another thing you could do to find out how good it's compressed, just to look at the RAR. You open the RAR up, go to, and then go to Info, right over here at the top options. Now, over here, it'll show you the compression rate. This is at 49%. And it shows you the original file size and the uh, path size. So the lower the ratio, the better. Okay, now here I have another useful file that WinRAR can open or explore. It's an ISO file. An ISO file is basically an image of a disk, like a CD or a DVD. This is Ubuntu. Basically the way you would use this is, instead of mounting the disk using like a daemon tools or anything, you could just open it and explore into the disk with WinRAR. So this was Ubuntu 10 and all the stuff in it. Basically this is useless to me right now because it's just an OS. But just in case you need to see into a disk image without mounting the disk image, you can still use this. Now if you try to, if you mount, um, if you get a game disk image, and you try to run the setup in the game disk, like through WinRAR, what it would do is, it would, after you uh, launch the setup exe, it would extract all of its files to a temp folder in your Windows, and from there it would run the installer. Now, that takes a long time because it has to extract all the files. So if you're going to do that, I still suggest you mount the disk. Works much, much faster. And soon I'll have another video on how to mount disks using daemon tools, disk images.